I'm Nicole. I'm Geraldine. I'm Lauren. And this is Doing, Doing the, the Damn, damn thing. thing, an entrepreneurship talk show. My name is Carmen Veronica and I'm the production manager for Doing the Damn Thing. And today I'm here to talk to you a little bit about my entrepreneurial story. So it all started when I was around nine years old and grandpa got me my very first camera. It was this giant camera, Panasonic, took whole VHS tapes, I had to prop it up on my shoulder to use it, but I knew from then that I really loved working with cameras. So started off just making little skits with friends, being silly, you know, turning on the camera, playing pretend, and that slowly eventually started getting me more into editing. This was before digital, so we had to do in-camera edits. That means cutting and moving the camera and going somewhere else and then cutting, and we got pretty good at some match cuts. We did evil twin sets where, you know, I would play my own evil twin by cutting from one to the other. Uh, so we had a lot of fun playing with cameras and then I really started getting more and more into it. When digital came out, I started editing. I started grabbing any video editing program I could get my hands on. I was just playing at home. This was just my, my hobby. Uh, but meanwhile, I was training as a musician. I was taking private piano lessons. I got really into dancing. Uh, I started performing as a dancer. I went to performing media arts middle school and I started doing a lot of that. I moved into high school, performing arts high school, started doing more performing, acting, um, musical theater, started working backstage, uh, being stage manager, and I started really loving the live arts as well. And kind of cameras took a little bit more of a back seat at that moment. And then when I graduated high school, I really didn't know what exactly I wanted to concentrate on. I had all these things that I had been working on and practicing, but not really sure how to make them into a career or something that I could maybe monetize. So I went to college, Mills College in Oakland, and found my perfect major, which was called Intermedia Arts. It combined literally video, dance, music, any other art that you could imagine. So I, in my own way, found what I like to call like live and media performance, using media to support a live performance. And so started doing a lot with that, kind of gained a little bit of a reputation in the area as being the video girl. So if anybody had any video needs, they knew where to go. After college, I actually started getting more into photography because at the very end of college, I started my own short film, which was quite the feat for your final year in college. I started to direct, edit, produce, and write a zombie film. So that was my first big passion project, and I learned so much about what it takes to really bring something from start to finish. And I realized that I need a lot of help and the collaboration is key. So I found out that my role is really as director. I like to be the master vision and put people exactly where they need to be so they can shine. So directing that film taught me a lot about challenges, but also taught me kind of where I should be. So when I started with photography, I realized, wow, this is so much easier. So, so much of a shorter uh, workflow. It doesn't take years to produce one image. So started taking classes at Laney College in Oakland, learned film, and film really solidified me and my technique, learning about exposure, about um, shutter speed, about lenses, cameras, all these things, it really solidified my passion and my um, technical ability in this field. So then I really started feeling like I think I want to push this more as a business. I started having people hitting me up for uh, performance documentation. Hey, I have a performance. Can you film it? Can you take pictures? And you know, you know, charging me, charging little by little, and kind of building up my client base. And more and more word of mouth was getting out, and I kind of was a little surprised. So. As the demand went up, I realized I could maybe make this into a monetary business. And I don't feel like that about everything that I do. I love dance, I love music. Those are things that I don't necessarily want to monetize. And I really feel like you bring a different energy towards something when you want to make money off of it. So I was prepared and happy to start making money off of photography and video because it's something that I could really quantify. I could, you know, 
um, charged by the hour or charged by the project and it was just very freeing to be able to um, do my own projects and work with people that I really liked. So uh, as of now, I've been taking more clients. Um, the zombie movie got finished. <laughs> um, I've been doing also passion projects. Uh, I was just featured in Tiny Dance Film Festival in 2018 for a short dance film. So that definitely melded both of my interests in dance and video. And I actually was in that as well. Which brings me to my other uh, kind of journey in my entrepreneurial story is also being in front of the camera. And that's something that has been um, kind of forced on me, unfortunately, because it's very hard to be in front of the camera. And even as a photographer, I can say, I understand the challenge. So putting myself out there, also doing some modeling has been really helpful for working with my clients. You know, being able to know what it's like to be them is really important to me. Also, when I work with dancers, which is one of my target audiences, uh, I like to, to be able to relate to them. I have the same experiences as you. I, I maybe know how the body works and I'm able to relate that to my clients. So that's really important to me and it has been a big part of my journey is being able to be in front of the camera, on stage, but then also behind and backstage. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I am still on my journey these days and I hope you were able to check out my website, uh, the www.thestudiocv.com, CV for Carmen and Veronica. Uh, please check it out. I'm on Instagram and Facebook and I hope to work with you all very soon.